So let's see. I'm going to take a little look at the, it's the fingering positions first. So let's see. Hey, Joe. Let's see. Both hands are in the treble clef. I've got to watch out for that because that always tricks me out. Uh, okay. So we've got our first position. We're starting with the C on the right hand and the E on the left. So it looks like we're basically just moving in parallel sixths, which is great. And I don't think we have to change our hand position until the uh, third system, you know, measure nine. And then we're constantly shifting. Right? And then we're constantly every shifting. Or, not, or every, mm -hmm. every two. Yeah. But it looks like we're doing like the whole stacked pentascale thing, because we've got the this the E that goes up to the B with the left hand and then yeah. with the right hand it picks up with the C to the G and I think it, it goes that way through the whole piece. The whole um, when I was taught they didn't do the they didn't like build a foundation with pentascale mm -hmm. that I remember maybe they did and I just ignored it. Mm -hmm. Um, the right away it was um, to do a full uh, octave. Yeah, do a whole octave. Yeah. Did same. you? Yeah. Same thing with me. Yeah. And and so then that was always the big source of anxiety. Right. So the positioning, uh, the positioning, uh, I didn't build any skills. Oh, and gotcha. I'm always looking. And where's my fingers? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm gonna move my fingers over here. Yeah, I hear you. Yeah. Yeah, that just takes a lot of practice, basically. Um, Okay, so let's see. We've got a couple of leaps and then a step. It's a kind of uh, looks like it's we're alternating step and leaps, so gotta watch out for that. Oh, and the articulation. Yeah, yeah. Oh, but um, both hands are always the same articulation. Yes, they move together. They are just constantly in parallel motion, which is nice. Yeah, because the early, very early ones forced you to do them separately. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So they're being kind to us today. Yeah, they move parallel until the last two measures when it's oblique. So. All right. So I just want to give this a shot. All right. One, two, one, two. So, yeah, it looks like in the, for the last two systems, mostly it's just going 1, 3, and 5. Just 1, 3, 5, 3 the whole time, so we just got to make sure we're landing in the right places, basically. Yeah. Uh, so we do, what do we do from 9 again? Maybe yeah, 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 absolutely.
That'll do it. So let's see, scherzando, what does that mean? Uh, joke. It's, yeah. It's, it's joking. Yeah, joking. Let's see if it tells us that back, just in case there's something the book says that we should know. Yeah, it just says in a light-hearted fashion. So this kind of reminds me of a, there's some arias that I sing, well, some of them are arias, some of them are just kind of little fun songs, and uh, the the laughter is actually part of the music, so like, he goes like a, it's like a, <laughs> and then he just, just a little, that little uh, respiration thing there, so, so yeah, I guess the, the, those staccato notes kind of remind me of laughter a little bit, like, uh, <laughs> that's just me though. That's just something that kind of helps me. I, I associated that with um, Shostakovich's fifth, which none of it's mm -hmm. funny. <laughs> um, so, and I didn't learn Italian until I was an adult. Ah. So I, I still think it's Shostakovich's fifth. All right. How does that one go? Um, oh, the, the, the scherzo part of it? Yeah. 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 Yeah, it's a sketch. It's light. Um, yeah. The little waltz. Uh huh. Thing. A little kind of dancey ish. But in the middle of the siege of Leningrad, so mm -hmm. you know, I don't know. Maybe they got fed that day. Hey. Whatever helps us to be a little more expressive. Why not? <laughs>